Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the beauty tour. Today we are going to be going over my February favorites. So up first, I really only have, I've got a fashion product and the rest of it is makeup and it's not a whole ton. So it's going to be a quick video, no need for snacks, it's just going to be like a glass of wine, maybe some water. Up first, we have, so this month I have been using pretty much exclusively my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. This is what it looks like. Just, you know, comes up like this. Oh, <laughs> I did swatches earlier. <laughs> so there's still some stuff on it. So let's dry that off real quick. So it comes out and like it's super creamy. It's really blendable. I'm shade 117. Oh, it's so nice. I have the hardest time finding foundations that match my skin tone. I have tried Too Faced Born This Way. I've tried NYX. I've tried Philosophy. I've tried the Tar Amazonian Clay. And um, none of them match. Like, nobody has a match that's close enough to my skin. And I even went to Sephora and did the Color IQ. And Homegirl gave me um, Too Faced Born This Way in vanilla. And I'll show you. So this is, this is what it looks like, and this, just do a little, is the shade she gave me, which you would think is like, you know, whatever. Does that look like my skin tone versus the um, Makeup Forever one that you can't even see because it matches my skin tone? No, girlfriend. No, I was like, I really don't think <laughs> that that matches. She's like, oh no, it totally matches. Color IQ says it does. I was like, okay. That's fine. I'll buy it anyway. Just so you'll leave me alone. And then I left and I was like, oh, I shouldn't have bought that. Because I, I went in wanting the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick um, in the shade 117. So I went back, I went back for it. And this girl's like, let's match you. She matched me 125, which when it oxidized on my skin, literally I looked like an Oompa Loompa. I was orange. This is the color it was. So I was like, <laughs> so I went back again. And they were like, how can I help you? Like, what can I help you find? I was like, literally nothing. Like, I will do this. A girl, I will do this on my own, please. No. So I got it. And I got the shade that I needed. And it's amazing. You don't need a whole lot. Like, I'll do um, a stripe, a stripe, a stripe, a stripe. One on my forehead, one down here. And then it just blends out really nicely. It's amazing. It's lightweight. It does say medium coverage. It is full coverage. I I definitely think it's full coverage. Um, there are some times there's, because I've got some dark spots here and here and a little bit here and here I'll just go in after I do my whole blending it in and I'll do a couple extra like bounces of the foundation and then I'll buff it out and it it's amazing it is full coverage for me it's incredible I love it 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 makes my skin look great and it's the closest one to have ever matched me I will probably never use another foundation again if you know someone who is shade 117 and they use other products please let me know because I would like to try them because this is so perfect anyway moving on guys my hair second favorite we're gonna bounce around girl I done cut this all off do you see that look at my little can you see my little I got a little Got a little bun going on. It's so cute, right? It's so cute. Yeah, I chopped my hair off. I was sitting at my desk one day, and I was like, I, I just was in a super foul mood. I hated my hair. I always wore it up in a big dumb bun. It was dead. It was dry. It was so damaged. I just like I get up early enough in the morning to do my full face of makeup that I have time to do my hair. And I don't, and I feel like I'm almost 30 years old, and I still throw my hair in a big crazy knot on the top of my head. It just wasn't setting well with me. Like, I, f I put enough time into myself other places. My hair shouldn't be the easiest one, and I, I wasn't taking care of it. So, 
And I went in and she's like, do you want it just like trimmed? I was like, no. I want to like cut off, like cut my hair off. She was like, oh my god, I love when people come in for this. So she took like six and a half inches of my hair off and I love it. It's so manageable. It is so easy to do. It used to take me an hour, an hour, sometimes a little bit more to straighten my hair. It takes me 20 minutes now at the most. It's amazing. It's so incredible. I'm so happy. I feel my age, which is old. Anyway, since we're just skipping around, let's skip back to makeup. Um, my second beauty favorite for the month, my second favorite makeup product would be Milani's to Bake Blush in Luminoso. It is this beautiful, corally, bronzy shade. Oh my gosh, it just blends so, so beautifully. It's like this. Oh, it's so nice. Just like right on the apples of the cheek. Super everyday, um, just like almost like a no makeup makeup look you put that just with like a winged eyeliner and like a nice nude lip and it's so beautiful I did that look a couple a couple times I took out there's a picture on my Instagram of me wearing that exact look and it's so effortless it's just so beautiful it adds some light to the cheek and it's got like gold um swirls that run through it that just make you look alive and bronzy and it's it's amazing it's my favorite blush right now and it's drugstore so it's super affordable and it lasts all day which is so amazing because I have some blushes that are from I totally just threw it on the floor <laughs> threw it on the ground um I have some products that are more higher end makeup that just I'll wear it's like for an hour and it's like off my face but this blush being drugstore lasts all day that's a win in my book, full row people. What is our next product? Oh, this next product I just got not too long ago. I didn't have it the whole month of February, but I'm so jazzed on it. It's what I'm wearing right now on my lips. I love it so much. I watched fellow YouTuber, I think, I think it was Graveyard Girl that did a um, swatch first impressions review of these. They are the Too Faced Melted Chocolate lipsticks and she did her video and I was like oh they don't seem so opaque and I don't know if I want any but this was the one that I was like if I'm gonna get any that's the one I'll get and I make notes people when I write when I watch other youtubers videos I make notes and I was like standing in front of excuse me the Too Faced display at my Ulta and I was like I want one there's one of like the regular ones um that I've been dying for, but it's always sold out. And I was like, well, let me try this other one. I'm like looking, I'm like, oh, what was that, what was that? Oh yeah, chocolate honey. It's so beautiful. Look at it. I love it so much. And it smells good. I, I've had customers be like, I like your, I like your lipstick. I get the most compliments when I wear Urban Decay's 1993 and when I wear this. They're beautiful colors. This is a beautiful shade. I do usually wear more brown nudes versus like pinky nudes, but this one is like, it's a brown nude. So I was a little bit scared at first, to be honest, but then I was like, eh, whatever, love it. Our next item, let's see. So in my February Bur BoxyCharm box, I got this right here, which actually goes along with my other eye product favorite. This is an Ofra setting powder, and I use it to set my eyes before I go in with my eye colors. And this has been working magically to just sort of like set it, because I'll take my beauty blender and just go right over my eye with my foundation and then my concealer, and then I'll use this to set it and then I'll go in with my transition shade and I find that my eyeshadows blend out a ton better. Um, second favorite product for my eyes is actually another Ofra product. I got this a, a long time ago, like a really long time ago, and I think my probably my very first BoxyCharm that I ever got or like an Ipsy or something, it came in a monthly subscription. And it is the Ofra Highlighter in Bliss. And I only just started using this towards the end of, maybe like mid, mid to the end of January because I got 
my my Z palette all put together and I finally had a place for it because it's a magnetic back and it was literally just sitting in my unused product like storage place in my vanity still in its package never used it and I was like oh it's such a beautiful color and every time I would like clean my vanity out I would see it and I'd be like oh it's such a beautiful color and then I would never ever use it and then finally got a Z palette and was able to actually like plop it in there and I use it every single day I use it on my eyelid I'm not using it on my eyelid today I think today I'm using I think today I'm using color pop color pop color plop color pops millionaire yeah that's what I'm using this is what it's on my eye today which I like a good shimmer. Can you see this? Beautiful. Anyway, but we're talking about Ofra's highlighter in Bliss, so let me swatch that for you guys. It's this right here. It is so beautiful. In my last Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, no, I was just a Get Ready With Me video, I used it, and how I use it is I'll take... It's just an e.l.f. brush, an e.l.f. crease brush. Where are you at? Over here. I'll just take this, this e.l.f. crease brush, and then I'll spritz it with Urban Decay's Chill Makeup Setting Spray, and I'll, I'll wet it, and then I'll put it into the pan, pack it under my eyelid, and I, it's my favorite look to like just add a little bit of brightness, and you know, it makes me look alive. Anyway, I think that's all I've got for beauty products. My one fashion product that I have to say, ooh, girl, yes, I'm dying for this, is a good pair of Destructed, oh, yes, Destructed skinny jeans. They would go perfectly with the outfit that I had on today, but I wanted to showcase them and be like, they're so amazing. I got those at, um... Well, that's where I work. I got those at Maurice's. And we have been getting in so, so, so many amazing, destructed, jegging-type, skinny-type pants. And I have been, as a plus-size person, I have always been on like the search for just the perfect pair of a light wash because I hate light wash. Girl, you can see all my dimples, all my rimples. It's not cute. I have been on the hunt for years now for a beautiful pair of light wash destructed jeggings that are flattering for my body type and Maurice's hit it out of the park with these. They're amazing. When we got them in in core I had my entire team try them on with outfits and they're they just go so well with everything you can do them dressy you can do them casual it does not matter put a pair of destructed skinny pants on maybe don't wear them to a job interview unless it's for like i can't think of any time it's appropriate to wear destructed jeans to a job interview unless it's at like a store that sells destructed jeans exclusively um but they're so perfect with everything and they oh my gosh i'm living for these jeans right now i swear I even ha I have two pair and I can't stop wearing them. I bought them the size I am now and then I bought them in the size down so that I could wear them when I'm skinnier. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so those are my, I'm like looking around being like, what, what can I put in as my favorite honorable mention right here, people. So I like, I am a fan of Harry Potter, like a small fan. I, am, I may or may not have a Deathly Hallows tattoo. I m may or may not, may not watch the videos on like a constant loop or read the books more often than is normal. Whatever it may be. I'm a collector of things. And for Christmas, we had our Christmas party at work late. Um, holiday season is crazy and we tell people I'll get over it. And my first assistant, Kayla... She made me this. She made this for me. Do you see this? Do you see this? My eyes are watering. This is magnificent. I can't. The Gryffindor scarf. This, are you kidding me? 
It's so amazing. It sits on my vanity. My, my eyes are legit watering. That is like an incredible gift. And she made it. So thank you. Thank you, Kayla. Um, anyway, you guys, that is it for my February monthly favorites. I hope you guys had a really great February, and I'm so excited to start March. I have a lot of exciting things coming up this month. A lot of, I'm going, I'm going to take a trip home to Rochester. I'm going to hang out with my dogs. I'm doing 21 Day Fix. Um, it's great. Uh, March is amazing. I'm so thrilled. And thank you guys again for stopping by and tolerating me and listening to me ramble on about things that I enjoy. Um, I've got some actual tutorials coming up for you guys. Could do a tutorial on this look right here. Was a bit shaky. I honestly just grabbed a color and was like, yes, done. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I will see you in my next video sometime soon. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bye. You need to stop moving, turd. You're making the background move. People aren't going to appreciate it. Stop. You being crazy. You're making the background move. Quit it. Would you stop? Mommy's trying to film. You're crazy. Have you seen my background <laughs> moving? It's, <laughs> it's my dog. What? You are real rude. Do you want to say hello? Come here. Come here and say hello. Come on. This is Clementine. She's she a beefcake. To hide the people. You being shy. Okay. Thank you. That's nice. Okay. Go be cute. Find someone to play with. <laughs>